Hello, everyone, and welcome to the webinar Mastering Project Management, the Ultimate Guide to PMP Certification. I'm Irena. I'm the head of MEC, Miracle Education Center, and in collaboration with our trainer and long-term associate, Silvana tomic rotim we created this short education for you. Hello, Silvana. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello, Sil yeah, Silvana has been collaborating with uh, us for the past few years on the implementation of education in the field of project management. And with her team, uh, she prepares our clients for the PMP certification. Um, with the experience in project management implementation and consulting and education in the international uh, arena, Silvana has also been a long-term member of uh, the executive board of local Project Management Institute, so she's just the perfect person for this topic. So the idea of today's webinar is to fill you in with useful information and give you some answers to the questions regarding PMP certification. Uh, Silvana will present the key elements of the project management process and give us the answer what the role of the project manager actually is. So this webinar gives us some guidelines, but to prepare for the exam, we invite you to enroll to a comprehensive online education with a total of 36 training hours. Uh, it starts on May the 7th and ends on June the 12th. And for all of you who registered for today's webinar, we offer a 15% discount to regular price. So just before we start, uh, let me give you just a few more technical information. We are recording this webinar and it will be available on our YouTube channel. You will also receive the link of the recording in the email, which will follow this webinar and it will be uh, in your mailboxes by the end of the day. Since there's a time limit of half an hour, if you need to share any of your thoughts or questions, feel free to use the chat box. So type your ideas there. And uh, at the end, as time permits, we will go through the content of the chat and Silvana will give you some answers. So Silvana, we are ready for you now. Thank you, Irena. Uh, again, hi everyone. My name is Silvana Tomic Rotim from Zich, and I'm here to guide you through the pivotal aspects of project management and the significant value of becoming a certified project management professional. Whether you are new to project management or looking uh, to elevate your career, this session is your stepping stone to achieving excellence in the field. For the beginning, something about me. I graduated at the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, completed my postgraduate studies at the same faculty and the study of management. I also got my PhD from the Faculty of Organization and Informatics at University of Zagreb. I have more than 25 years of uh, rich experience in different kinds of projects uh, uh, abroad, uh, EU projects, World Bank, NATO, and other projects. I'm also certified PMP project management professional and management trainer and certified consultant. So let's start. Uh, as we embark on this uh, insightful journey into the world of project management, let's first orient ourselves with the roadmap of uh, our exploration today. This slide is a guide through the diverse landscape of project management principles, practices, and the pivotal steps towards achieving the esteemed PMP certification. We'll begin by delving into the core components uh, that constitute the foundation of effective project management. Understanding these elements is crucial for both new and experienced professionals in orchestrating successful projects. Next, we'll shift our focus to the epicenter of project success, uh, the project manager. And this section will uh, illuminate the multi-phased role of project managers, uh, highlighting their responsibilities, uh, required competencies, uh, the impact they have on project outcomes. Following that, uh, we'll explore the tangible and intangible benefits of obtaining PMP certification from career advancement to enhanced salary prospects and global recognition. We'll discuss how PMP certification can a game changer in your professional journey. 
And to wrap up, we'll uh, outline the prerequisites for PMP certification, detailing the educational and experiential requirements. Additionally, we'll cover the essential knowledge areas and domains that the PMP exam encompasses, setting the stage uh, for focus preparation. Uh, first, let's address the core question. Sorry, let's uh, address the core question. What is a project? A project is a temporary endeavor and undertaken to create a unique product, service, or result. It has a defined beginning and end, often constrained by time, resources, scope. But what truly really sets a project apart is its singularity and the specific set of objectives it aims to achieve. Reflecting on uh, your experiences, think about the projects you've been involved in, either personally or professionally. It could be as simple as organizing an event, maybe birthday party, or as complex, complex as developing a new product. Each project, regardless of its size or complexity, requires careful planning, execution, and management to succeed. So what makes a project successful? Is the precise management of various elements from initiation to closure, effective management of scope, risk, cost, time, stakeholders, quality communication, resources, all of that are what set successful projects apart. Understanding these elements not only aids in managing project, but also prepares you for the challenges of the PMP certification. Uh, let's shift our focus to current store of project management excellence, the project management body of knowledge, commonly known as PMBOK. It is developed by Project Management Institute, and this guide is the gold standard for project management methodologies, processes, practices. Uh, PMPOC guide is uh, not just a manual, it's a framework that provides uh, flexibility and adaptability, allowing project managers to tailor the methodologies and the processes to the unique needs of their projects. It emphasizes the importance of balancing the competing project constraints, including scope, quality, schedule, resources, and so on. Uh, understanding and applying these principles outlined in PMBOK can significantly enhance uh, uh, your project management capabilities. It provides a common language for project managers around the world facilitating collaboration and sharing of best practices for uh, those people who are actually seeking uh, PMP certification. PMPO guide is an essential resource as a certification exam is heavily based on the concepts or, and standards detailed within. Uh, our PM Academy is organized in accordance uh, with this PMBOK methodology. The process groups uh, in project management include initiating, planning, executing, monitoring, controlling, and finally closing. They represent the phases that every project goes through from start to finish. From other side, we have some knowledge areas, scope management. Here we defined what is and isn't included in the project. It's about setting clear boundaries to ensure the project team and stakeholders have a shared understanding of what the project will deliver. Then time management. This element is all about scheduling. Every project has a deadline and manage timelines effectively. Uh, ensure that project progresses smoothly without unnecessary delays. Then we have cost management. Keeping project within budget is crucial. 
This involves estimating costs, setting a budget, managing expenses throughout the project life cycle, quality management. Actually, quality management ensures that the project's outputs meet the required standards, stakeholder expectations. It's about incorporating quality planning, assurance, control processes. Then we have resource management. Obviously, projects need various resources, including people, tools, materials. Effective resource management ensures that the right resources are available at the right times to support project tasks. Also, important area is stakeholder management. Engaging uh, with and managing uh, expectations of everyone affected by the project is key. Successful projects have clear communication plans and involve stakeholders at appropriate levels, keeping everyone on the same page through regular updates and clear communication channels is essential for project cohesion and stakeholders uh, satisfaction. Very important part is risk management. Identifying potential risks and putting plans in place to mitigate them is vital for project success. This proactive approach helps avoid surprises that could derail the project. And sometimes we need procurement in the project. Many projects involve acquiring goods and services from outside the organization. Managing these contracts, weather relationship uh, is also crucial for project delivery. By mastering these key elements, you are not just managing projects, you are steering them towards success, ensuring they deliver value and uh, achieve their objectives. Now, some clips from education. It could be interesting to get a picture how actually we work. So in this segment, uh, we'll delve into some practical tools and methodologies that are essential for every project manager. The well-known work breakdown structure and the requirements traceability metrics or RTM are foundational tools for scope and requirements management. At the beginning of each project, it is necessary to elaborate the entire work into work packages that uh, together make up the work breakdown structure. In doing so, it is important to identify the requirements that we follow through these RTM metrics until they are met, they are satisfied. By understanding and applying these tools, uh, you'll be able to better define and track your project deliverables, ensuring alignment with your project objectives. Uh, what about scheduling? There are different uh, project scheduling techniques and uh, effective project scheduling is definitely crucial for the timely delivery of projects. Here we'll uh, explore various scheduling techniques, including critical path method, gun chart, agile planning. Each method uh, offers unique benefits and it's suited to different project environments. The critical path method, for example, is a step-by-step -step project management technique for process planning that defines critical and non-critical tasks with the goal of preventing uh, time frame problems and process bottlenecks. This knowledge enables project managers uh, to prior prioritize tasks that must be completed on time to avoid affecting the project timeline and to allocate resources uh, efficiently to critical tasks while providing flexibility in some non-critical tasks. This uh, CPM method is uh, efficiently uh, uh, suited to uh, projects consisting of numerous activities that interact in a complex manner. Then uh, we have Gun chart. On the other hand, it is a type of bar chart. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with that. Uh, it illustrates a project schedule 
it represents information about the task or phases of the project, their starts and end dates, uh, dependencies between tasks. It is a visual tool that provides a quick overview of a project's progress and helps in planning and coordinating uh, tasks and resources. Agile planning something very important uh, uh, last decade uh, is a flexible approach to project management that uh, emphasize uh, adaptability to changing requirements and continuous improvement uh, through uh, iterative development. Unlike tradi traditional uh, predictive methods, uh, these agile approach rely on a, a fixed sec sequence of stages. Agile planning involves breaking down the project into smaller manageable parts known as iteration or sprints, typically lasting a few weeks. We know that each sprint starts with some planning meeting where the team selects a set of features from prioritize backlog to implement. And at the end of the sprint, these features are reviewed and evaluated, allowing the team to adjust the plan for the next iteration. This approach promotes collaboration, flexibility, customer feedback with the ultimate goal of delivering high quality product that meets uh, the, the user's needs and user's expectation. Mastering these scheduling uh, techniques will uh, also enhance your ability to deliver projects on time and adapt to changing project requirements. Uh, we talk about all these techniques in detail at our PM Academy. PM Academy and work on uh, one specific project and you try to develop all of these uh, gun charts uh, and agile plans and so on. Also very important uh, area is financial management, cost management, financial oversight are pivotal in project management. In this section, we'll cover cost budgeting and earn value analysis, providing you with the knowledge to forecast and track project finance accurately. Uh, earned value analysis is a project management technique uh, used to uh, assess project performance and progress in objective manner. It combines measurements of project scope, schedule, and cost in single integrated system. And this uh, EVA method is used to forecast project performance problems, which is an important function for project management. Some key elements of uh, EVA includes planned value, actual cost, earned value. And by comparing these values, actually project managers can determine if the project is on track, both financially and in terms of the schedule. Performance indicators derived from uh, EVA, um, such as cost performance index or schedule performance index, also help in forecasting future performance and making informed decision to keep the project aligned with, it, with its goals. These skills are definitely critical in ensuring that uh, projects are completed with budget, providing tangible value for stakeholders. Uh, identifying, assessing, and managing risks are fundamental to project success. Uh, we'll discuss risk management strategies, tools, and other important aspects of risk management during PM Academy to mitigate potential project pitfalls. Additionally, we'll explore quality management techniques to ensure your project meets the required standards and stakeholder expectations. As you can see here, there are a lot of them, such as cause and effect uh, or uh, Ishikawa diagrams, histograms, flow charts, metrics uh, diagrams, and so on. Well-known fishbone uh, Ishikawa diagram is a tool used for identifying the root causes of a problem or defect. 
and it is called a fish bone uh, because it resembles the skeleton of fish with each bone representing a category of potential causes leading uh, to the main spine of the problem. Then we have histograms as a type of bar chart that uh, represent the frequency of occurrence of data points in successive numerical intervals of equi equal size. Uh, in quality management, histograms are used to visualize the distribution of data and identify the patterns that uh, may indicate problems in the process. Flowcharts are a well, also a well-known uh, method. It's a diagram that represents the steps of a process. It is used in quality management to map out the process, identify each step, detect where quality issues are likely to occur or where the process may be improved. All of these techniques uh, are actually a part of the broader field of uh, quality management, which also includes planning, control, improvement, and are essential for ensuring that the project deliverables meet customers' uh, expectations and also regulatory requirements. Uh, okay a few clips uh, related to resources and uh, stakeholders management. Definitely, we could say projects are only as strong as their teams and the support they receive from stakeholders. This part of uh, lecture focuses on defining resources in the project and uh, effective stakeholder management at our Academy, we define roles, uh, responsibilities uh, for a specific project, identify stakeholders, analyze them, define their expectations, uh, prepare plan for managing resources and uh, stakeholders' exp uh, expectations. And actually, by mastering these areas, you can ensure uh, optimal resource uh, utilization and foster a positive environment for stakeholder engagement uh, driving uh, project success. Now, uh, we will say something about the role of uh, the project manager. Uh, project managers are the architect of success. The linchpins who harness a variety of skills to guide the project from inception to realization. The role of project manager is uh, multifaced and dynamic. It involves a balance of technical knowledge, personal interaction, some strategic foresight, a uh, project manager must see beyond the immediate task and understand the ultimate goals of the project. They are visioners who inspire their teams and stakeholders with a clear sense of direction. Project manager is in the central hub of com communication, linking all project stakeholders from team members to sponsors, clients to suppliers, Clear, concise, effective communication ensure that uh, everyone is aligned with the project objectives. Project managers must strategize the part of the project, uh, anticipate risks, plan for various scenarios. This foresight is crucial for navigating through uh, uncertainties and leading the project towards its goals uh, efficiently. Whether it's resources, deadlines, or scope changes, project managers are often in negotiation. The ability to influence the stakeholders and negotiate uh, terms is sometimes critical for uh, project advancement. They are responsible for identifying potential risks, implementing uh, mitigation strategies, they uh, must ensure that risk, uh, risks are managed proactively to minimize impact uh, on the project. Making decisions often under pressure is a daily reality for project managers. These decisions can have significant 
impacts on the project's outcome. Beyond managing uh, tasks, the project managers are also responsible for building, motivating, and leading their teams. They foster an environment where collaboration thrives and team members are empowered to do their best work. Uh, here you can see the key areas of competence of the project manager. Uh, the project manager stands at the helm of the project, navigating through the challenges and steering the team towards success. But what exactly defines a competent project manager? It's not just about knowledge of project management framework or methodologies. Uh, it's a blend of skills, behaviors, personal attributes that contribute the performance to performance excellence. The Project Management Institute uh, has identified these three broad areas where project managers must excel. The first one is technical project management. Uh, the project manager must possess, of course, uh, understanding of project management principle, processes, tools, everything we talked about. Uh, this includes project planning, execution, monitoring, uh, and encompasses the knowledge areas defined in PMBOK. Uh, proficiency in these uh, technical aspects ensure that the project managers can apply the right tools, techniques to manage the project e effectively. But also, leadership is the skill that's necessary to have. Project manager must be an adept leader capable of guiding, <clears throat> motivating, inspiring the team. This involves setting a vision, facilitating communication, fostering a collaborative team environment. Leadership skills also encompass the ability to navigate team dynamics, resolve conflicts, make decisions that are in the best interest of the project. But also important, part and area is uh, strategic and business management. Understanding the larger business context in which the project operates is vital. This means having a grasp of industry knowledge, market trends, business strategies. It's about aligning the project with organization strategic objectives and understanding the implications of project decision on business outcomes. So while project management skills and techniques are necessary, they are not sufficient in today's competitive and complex global market. Organizations often seek project managers who can bring additional value to leadership qualities and business intelligence. In our PM Academy, we will also dive deep into each of these areas, exploring the core competencies that you should develop to not only manage projects, but uh, to lead them towards a strategic success. Why pursue PMP certification at all? Uh, as you can see, the benefits are clear and quantifiable. Certified PMPs enjoy a salary that's 14% higher in the EU and 16% globally, according to the research. But this is more than just financial gain. Certification opens door to new career opportunities, better job security, and a vast network of professionals. With over 1.4 million PMP certification holders worldwide, you're joining an elite community recognized for excellence. Becoming a PMP is not just about passing an exam. Here you can see some prerequisite for PMP certification. Actually, it's more about providing your dedication and experience in project management. Depending on your current educational background, you'll need 36 or 60 months of project leadership experience, additional 35 hours of project management education ensures you're well prepared for what lies ahead for exam and also for PMP certification. 
These 35 hours can also be achieved by attending our PMI Academy. Uh, what are the required knowledge for the PMP exam? PMP exam is rigorous, covering a wide range of topics. You'll be tested on different domains, processes, people, and business environment, with a significant focus on agile and hybrid project management methodologies. As you can see, 50% of these questions are from agile or hybrid project management. Understanding these domains uh, is crucial for success, not just uh, in the exam, but in your career as a project manager. Uh, the exam lasts 230 minutes and has 180 questions, of which five are test questions and are not scored, but obviously you don't know which five are test questions. Okay, uh, which domains, which tasks, which enablers uh, we have and uh, we should be prepared for the exam. Uh, we actually have defined all of these domains and enablers in uh, our PMBOK. And PMP uh, exam structure is designed to assess your ability in specific domains, tasks, and enablers. This ensures that uh, certified PMPs are equipped with the skills necessary to navigate the complex landscape of modern project management, aligning with the real world demands of the profession. As you can see, all domains are organized into the tasks and each task has more enablers. For example, this first domain, the people, uh, the first task in this domain is manage conflict. So you as a project manager should be prepared, should be prepared for managing conflicts. So this managing conflicts uh, has three enablers. Interpret the source and stage of the conflict, analyze the context for the conflict and recommend the appropriate conflict resolution solution. So question can be from any of these areas and we are preparing our participants for all of these enablers during the academy. Preparation is the key for success and the right literature also and study resources can make significant difference in your understanding of project management principles and best practices. At our academy, we'll explore some of these uh, essential readings and materials that can definitely uh, help to countless professionals achieve their PMP certification. All these books, but also some test questions can be used for uh, good preparation. Uh, to give you a taste of what to expect on the exam, let's look at some prototype exam questions. These questions are designed to challenge your understanding and application of project management principles. The questions are multiple choice questions. And for example, the first one here uh, is uh, one based on critical path method. We talked about that. You have to identify critical path and then based on that, decide from which activity would be the best to remove resources obviously from non-critical uh, tasks. The second one is related to agile project management. We mentioned 50% of questions are from agile project management. So usually you have this kind of description of a short scenario and then a question related to that scenario. Uh, the second prototype question is drag and drop question. The question would likely challenge you to apply a combination of process group and processes. Uh, for this question, you have to drag the process to match up to its respective process group. That's also possible type of question. Uh, then we have hot area questions uh, like this one. For these kind of questions, you should interact with the digital graphic by clicking on the required area. Here you can see 
you should identify where the cost will increase the most. So definitely it is possible to have uh, this kind of question in the exam. Then uh, the next prototype question is uh, called a fill in the blank question. You have to analyze this information in this table and type in the right answer. In this case, obviously it is one, the right answer is one because something is ill-defined as a risk is definitely not well-defined risk. Uh, that's different kind of prototype questions that can you expect in your exam. And at the end, thank you for your attention today. I hope this session uh, has inspired you to take the next step in your project management journey. Joining the Society of Certified PMPs not only elevates your professional standing, but also opens the world uh, of opportunities, as we said. If you are ready to take this step, we are here to support you through our Project Management Academy. Let's embark on this journey together towards mastering project management. Thank you again. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Silvana. Thank you very much for this uh, information and a very clear overview of what a project is, especially for, for the specific hints from our program, from our academy, and tips uh, what one can expect uh, on the exam and all that we have to take care of prior to the PMP certification is really valuable. So let me check the chat box. Uh, since we don't have any comments or questions, uh, I will post uh, the link to our uh, feedback form. So please take a minute or two of your time to evaluate today's webinar. And of course, feedback is uh, anonymous. So thank you all for participating today. And just a quick reminder to check up our website and our Project Management Academy, our program, which starts in May, as I said. And don't forget to claim your discount 15% to a regular price. MEC is also active on uh, social networks, so check our content there. And we are looking forward to working with you again on our, our online program. And I also wish you a nice day. Thank you.